Hi there, it's Michelle Taren from Nom Nom Paleo, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of the most popular recipes on my site, my pressure cooker crispy potatoes in an Instant Pot. And so they'll be done in an instant, and you'll be eating potatoes again, which I'm sure you guys are like, hey, I thought those were off the table when I went paleo. But they're not, because I eat them, and if they're okay with you, you should eat them too. I think the potatoes is a whole food. And if you cook and cool your potatoes, they develop something called resistant starch, which feeds your good gut bacteria. And so I'm all about making your whole body happy. So I like eating potatoes. All right, so the key to making sure that your potatoes come out perfectly in five minutes under high pressure is to make sure that they're the same size. So I like to cut them about one inch cubes. So some people need to avoid potatoes because it spikes their blood sugar, but the only way you'll know is if you actually prick yourself and check uh, what it does to your body. So this right here is the handy dandy Instant Pot, or you can use any electric pressure cooker or just a stovetop pressure cooker, but this is what uh, has your potatoes ready in like an instant, no pun intended. So you just put in about a cup of water, into your cooking insert, and then you put in a steamer insert. I like these silicone ones, um, especially if I have to grab something out because these handles stay cool, but you gotta fold them in so they don't uh, you know, interfere with the locking mechanism. So you just plop in your potatoes, and then if you have a steamer insert like this one, just fold them on top of each other just so they're not pointing straight up. Lock the lid. Make sure that the vent is in the sealed position so it can come up to high pressure. And then you just cook it under high pressure for five minutes. And then once the cooking is done, you actually let it sit for about 10 minutes so that the pressure comes down naturally because the potatoes will keep cooking while uh, the pressure is coming down. And they're all ready. So because these are silicone, they're not gonna burn my hand. So now these potatoes are perfectly steamed. And so you can either put them in the fridge and you can cook them later or you can fry them up right away right now. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So now I'm gonna just heat up my cast iron skillet. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of fat and then I'm gonna fry those cooked potatoes till they're nice and crunchy on the outside. You want the pan, I mean medium high, but you want it to sizzle as soon as your potatoes hit. And you wanna put the potatoes in a single layer so they don't overcrowd, because you want them to get crispy and not steamy. And I keep my seasoning pretty simple. Like I'll add some salt and pepper and then the uh, Italian parsley and the lemon juice, but you can season it up as crazy as you want. But I don't like to add too much seasoning because it can burn. So I like to stick with salt initially. And then when it's close to the end, you can add whatever fancy stuff you want. I actually haven't put any seasoning on it yet because sometimes I feel that the pepper can burn and the salt can kind of soften the potatoes and I want them really crunchy. So you can totally use regular salt and pepper, but what I love to make these really pop and taste delicious is my magic mushroom powder. And I just season everything really well with it, just like you would use salt, but it adds an extra punch of umami. Oh, and it smells really good once it starts hitting the hot pan. And then I'm gonna put it on a platter. I'm gonna add some lemon juice and then some fresh Italian parsley. And there you have it, my favorite way to cook potatoes, pressure cooker, crispy potatoes. Because you know what? Potatoes can be paleo sometimes. 